Welcome to Bot Sailor. Today, in this video, we will show you how to create a WhatsApp chatbot based on keyword replies. Let's see how to create a WhatsApp chatbot based on keyword replies from the Bot Sailor's dashboard. At first, go to the Bot Manager menu of the dashboard. Select the bot account for which you want to create the WhatsApp chatbot. Then, click on the bot reply. To create a WhatsApp chatbot, just click on the Create button under the bot reply settings. Instantly, an editing page called Visual Flow Bot Builder Canvas will appear. Here on the left side of the canvas, you will see a document menu with 11 components. Also, on the top right side of the canvas, you will see five buttons. However, when you reach the Visual Flow Bot Builder, you will see the Start Bot Flow component. To give a name to your bot, you have to double-click on it. Instantly, a Configure Reference modal will appear on the top right side of the canvas. Give a name in the Title field. Optionally, choose a level and select a sequence. Then click on the OK radio button for saving purposes. Let's add a trigger to the basic bot. From the document menu, select and drag the trigger onto the canvas and drop on it. Now, double-click on the trigger. Instantly, a Configure Trigger modal will appear on the top right side of the canvas. Give a keyword, such as, Hello, Hi, Start, for the conversation to take place in real time between the customer and the chatbot. Then, hit OK button to save it. Drag the cursor from the trigger output socket to the reference input, trigger, socket of the start bot flow. Yes, the trigger has been added successfully. Then, drag the cursor from the next socket of start bot flow and drop it onto the canvas. Here, you will see several options for choosing any component. Let's say we select the interactive component. To configure it, double-click on it. A configure text message will appear on the top right side of the canvas. Here, you will see a message header, message body, message footer. At the last option, you can set a delay time period in a reply message. We can configure the message without any header or footer, but we must fulfill the message body. You may also choose text or an image from the message header. Now, fill up the fields according to your business and click on the OK button to save it. However, you will see the interactive sockets called Next, Buttons, etc. In this situation, we choose the Buttons socket to create three inline button. So, drag and drop our cursor onto the canvas. Instantly, an inline button component will appear. Double-click on it and type a name in the button text field. Select the button type. It may be new post back, post back, unsubscribe, resubscribe, chat with human, chat with robot, etc. Here, we select new post back. Then, hit the OK button. Yes, a new post back has appeared. Similarly, configure the other two inline button components. Now, we have to configure the new postback components. To configure it, double-click New Postback. Fill in the title field with a name and click the OK button. Repeat the task to get the other new postback components. From the next socket of New Postback, we can select any component of the list. It may be text, audio, video, condition, and so on. However, in this step, we choose again an interactive component. So, configure it in a similar way. Similarly, we want to take three inline button from the buttons socket of interactive component.
Double-click on it and type a name in the button text field. Select the button type. Here, we select, New Postback. Then, hit the, OK, button. Yes, a, new postback, has appeared. Similarly, configure the other two, inline button, components. Therefore, three, new postbacks, appeared instantly. Now, configure them and hit the, OK, button to save them. Let's add a user input flow component with those new postbacks components. To configure it, double click on the user input flow component. Instantly, a modal form will appear. Select add new input flow in the user input flow field. Give a name in the campaign name field. Then, hit, OK, button to save it. Instantly, a, new question, component will appear. Double click on the, new question, component. In the, configure new question, form, there are two question type, free keyboard input, multiple choice. Here, we select the free keyboard input. Now, to configure it, fill up the modal and click, OK, button. Then, drag our cursor from the final reply, socket and drop it onto the canvas. Now we have to configure the new post back. So, double click on it. Fill up all the fields and hit the OK button. At last, to give a final message for customer, we have to select the text component. Double click on the text component. Configure it and save it carefully. Now, we have to configure our two existing, new postback, components with the similar process. Yes, now you can save the bot by clicking the Save button, which is on the top right side of the canvas. Finally, the bot has been successfully created. First, go to WhatsApp. Now, let us check the bot. Write the keyword and send it. Wait and see. OK, the WhatsApp chatbot has run successfully. So, this is how to create a WhatsApp chatbot based on keyword replies. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.